Hi, you guys. It's your girl D. It's your girl J. And today we're gonna do a vlog, well, walk and talk and vlog, and basically girl talk. Like I'm in, I'm on break in class, so it's like I'm just trying to hurry up and push this video through. It's gonna be posted on my channel. It's gonna be posted on her channel. Her channel is gonna be in the link in my bio, like and in then, the description, and also on the screen. So, yep. And her link for her channel is going to be in mine. Also. So, well, let me put my glasses because I can't see nothing. So, <laughs> so we're gonna be telling you guys how not to get played. Oh my god. So it's gonna be late, and then we're gonna be. It's kind of like a um. Vlog, like, because we're gonna be going to the store too much. It's gonna be a store making. So, basically, I hate parking right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, I didn't really do. I'm driving, so yeah, she's driving, so you're gonna hear everything today. <laughs> but overall, like, I'm gonna let you start because okay, I'm oh, what's wrong with my family? I just turned and my steering wheel I almost locked up. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Like, don't lock. Please, Jesus. Okay. But yeah, so basically, um, we have both been through like crazy relationships in our lives, honestly. And I just went through a breakup um, about a few weeks ago, about four now. And my ex boyfriend was a complete controlling butthole because. He would. I would say more words, but I'm trying to have a family channel. But hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah, we would say more, but we gotta keep this PG. Yeah, we, we got to. Yeah, believe me, if it wasn't for the fact that we gotta keep it PG. But I mean, I wouldn't say he played her, but he just. This is just a video of how not to get done, did dirty. Rule number one. Don't pay for shit. No, don't pay for nothing. Let them pay for you. And if they can't, you pay for yourself. And if they can't pay for you, y'all don't need to be in a relationship. Y'all don't need to be in a relationship because you broke. Like, what we got to talk about if you broke? That's number one. And I'm sorry I had to give it to y'all on, like, city girl level. <laughs> but but it's the if you broke, uh-uh, out the window, bye. Because we see, got shit to talk about. Example. That was the mistake I made with my ex. I kept paying for all the stuff for him. And then when we broke up, it was basically like he used me the entire time. So these cones mean I can't go across? Well, that's not about to work. I guess well, we're going across anyway. Well, I guess we're going to go across today. Because I don't know what these cones mean. I would take my phone off the camera and show y'all. But, but I don't feel <laughs> like, nothing like today. <laughs> But yeah, like he, like that's that's number one. Like don't pay Never, for ever. shit. Like I'm sorry to keep it so blunt. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting us go. That's so sweet. I'm sorry to keep it blunt with you guys, but um, don't don't pay for nothing. Never. Like that's that's dead. Like the city girl said it best. Like period. It's like maybe when y'all get like far, 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 then maybe you can oh, start yeah. spoiling them a little bit. Yeah, little bit, but no. I say like maybe a year, maybe two. A two years is like kind of too far. Like it's kind of like that's a little far. It's kind of like dang, you ain't bought me nothing in two years. <laughs> but I would say like a year, or maybe, or maybe when you see him buying you stuff, that's another one. Like if you see yeah. him buying you stuff, like it doesn't hurt to be like, hey, okay, I'll yeah, you a little something something. Here, here you go. Here, here's a box of socks. Here. Like I see you trying, but I mean, like in general, in general, it does not hurt to give your significant other gifts. But just right off the top, no, like is, and I'm not don't do nothing over the top. Like please, do not give them like a Rolex or something. Yeah, like, but I mean, just in general, don't be getting any gas money. Like don't be getting gas money. If y'all just start talking and he be like, baby, can you give me ten dollars for gas? Hell no, I, I ain't got shit. For right. You. If you don't want taking me out somewhere. Why am I giving you gas money? You the one who came and drove all the way to my house to pick me up, to take me out. That's that's rule number one. Rule number two will be, I'll say, I, I didn't think about this video until this video, but rule number two is, don't get don't get too much in your feelings. Like Oh, Jesus. Yeah, don't get too much in your feelings. Don't be like, oh, 
Like, okay. this is the second week y'all talking. He may be hitting you up. He may be giving you good morning texts. He may be giving you good night texts. And Paragraphs. you're like, oh, I think I, I think he the one. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't fall for it. He's not the one. He's, he's not He's not it yet. He's not. No. You got to give it a little longer than that. Um, Another one. I think we should finish the video before we go inside. You think so? Yeah, because then they're going to be like, what the hell are we talking about? <laughs> and I don't want everybody looking at me. But, like, and then I actually want to shop for, like, what I want to shop for. Because I want some snacks. I'm not going to have time to eat snacks. I might not go back to class, honestly. Yeah. Like, because it's a waste of time. We not, y'all, I hate this class. <laughs> I'm taking nutrition. Don't ever take nutrition. That shit is so boring. But... Back to the video. I know y'all like, I'm so off topic. I'm, I'm trying to stay focused. I've been up since 7 o'clock. Um, yeah, that's rule number two. Like, don't mm-hmm. don't get in your feelings. Don't be texting him. And do not get in your feelings after week two. I mean, don't don't get in your feelings until, I say, I say month three. Like, yeah, then you can get in your feelings. Months. Give it three months. But it's kind of different when you know, like, when you know him before y'all got in a relationship. So, it's. I, it's y'all kinda are like different. Close already, but but I'm saying if time. y'all just started talking and y'all just met each other and then like you're like, Oh my god, he no. Please don't fall into the honeymoon phase like no. most of these people do. Yeah, Please like all that, that all that lovey dovey stuff like don't like, know. Oh, he's the love of my life. We're gonna get married, we're gonna have kids. No, no. golly Jesus. Don't Christ. do that. And because you'll feel like the biggest idiot in the world trying to do all that. And basically like rule number three. You can get them rule number three, because I gave them one, two. Okay, rule number three. Oh, Jesus. Look for the signs. My God, look for the signs. Please, I'm going to link this person, and she's, like, one of my favorite YouTubers. So I'm going to link her bio, and she has, like, a whole bunch of signs, like a sign video. That should probably be our next video. Like, mm-hmm. we should give signs. But I'm going to link this other one that she gave a lot of signs. That you're you're going to look at, like, huh? And then I have a big brother, so... I got a couple signs, like a couple mm-hmm. that I know about. Yeah, I have an older cousin who gives me advice about guys all the time. But I mean, like, I guess we can get them a couple signs, like a couple, three signs. Yeah. I say sign number one is when, like, you be the one to have to hit them up first. Like, that sign That already one, sounds a little... That's like, that's like, what? Like, that's I gotta hit you already. up. Like, you don't, if he don't text you without you texting him, like, Leave, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. And sign number two. It's okay to be a little jealous and stuff and show off your girlfriend, but if you're getting so overprotective that you don't want nobody near her, like her friends, he's excluding psychopath. you. That's, that's a psychopath. You, <laughs> that's a, you, walk you need out. to kick him out of your... Mm-mm. Because like it's one thing, like you said, it's one thing to be sweet and mm. oh my gosh, like, I don't want nobody around I want, you. Yes, yeah, like, but it's oh, another thing like, to really mean that. Like I don't want you around nobody. Period. Like if he starts being aggressive yeah. with you and starts like holding your arm and yanking you places and and that's also stuff. a sign of a abuser. abuse. Yeah. Like when you um like when you are older, I mean, if you're not around my age or twenty or whatever. But that's a sign of abuse, like, around 23 and older. You will see abuse in that, like, for real. Or even when he raised his voice at you, that's sign number three. I had, this was back when me and, when me and Darren first, first broke up. I had a nigga, he thought he was going to raise his voice at me. <laughs> he thought he was going to raise his voice at me. That's, that's, that's sign number that's, three. Like, mm. oh, that's, that's all the signs in the world. Because if a nigga raises his voice at me, that's that a problem. just means, like, he does not have any respect for you. And it's and not how he talks. It's like he ain't got no respect, like at all. Yeah, because my ex boyfriend tried that crap with me when we were like two weeks into dating. Like around my birthday, he got a whole attitude with me because one of his friends decided they wanted to, you know, try to cheer me up because I was having a bad day for my birthday. And he got over there and he yanked my arm and pulled me away and tried to drag me across. Would have been fighting. Should have knocked his ass. But see, my the person I was talking to, he was just like. That's how he talk. I don't care. That's how you talk. My you brother don't even raise his female. voice at me. Never. My my daddy don't raise his voice at me. So that was out the window. But that's three. That's three flags. Like that's signs. Three right big there. flags right there. Oh, and one more. If he's not um, respectful to adults, 
or his mom in particular, that's how he's going to treat you. Yeah, like... That's a big one. Yeah. I mean, well... Well, I'll, I'll say yeah and no. Because you can't... I've seen a guy, like, have a weird relationship with his mom. Like, they arguing, but, like, he got so much respect for her. So, I'll say yeah and no because, like, the person that I talk to... Like, the way he talks to his mom, like, they be so playful. Like, his mom be like, shut up, I hate you. And he be like, shut up, I hate you. But, That's you okay. know, yeah, but you know they love each other. So, it, it's I'm just how they... I'm saying, like, when they're full out cussing each other out and he's like okay. cussing his mama out yeah, no, no that's, that's not different. okay that's yeah, that's, different. that's never okay that's not okay if he's cussing his mom out he and ain't no telling what he gonna do to you exactly because like no matter how much you cuss at your family or no matter how much you and your family argue you still love your family but if if it's like showing like at the end of the day i would cuss anybody out like if you cuss your mama out, you cuss anybody out. Like anybody you won't can get it. Nobody. So that's that's you know that's going without unsaid. Like that's just facts. And then like another rule, I say we get them two more rules of mm-hmm. like not getting played. Cause this taking up my whole break. <laughs> another rule is like um I don't know. Okay, I'll say like when. Y'all don't, when y'all haven't been on any dates. Because, like... Oh, Jesus. Like, that means, like, I don't want to take you out. Like, I don't want to be around you. Like, I just want, I just want to be in closed space. Like, I want I my just, personal space. Is that yeah, what you mean? yeah, like, I oh, don't take God. you on dates. Like, we, we're together, but we, we don't, I don't need want, to spend 24 hours together. No, not that. Like, um, I don't want, I don't want the public to see me with you. Oh. Um, more so. Not like, I don't need space, but, like, I don't want to take you out, like... All right, I'll take you out. Well, I'll take you out next week. I'll take you out next week, and then come to find out they really just don't want to, to go be around. Yeah, that's don't. just a sign that he got holes. Like that's a sign that shit. Yeah, if he always if keeps out, delaying the dates and saying that he's gonna take you out this place, that place, and then he never does, holes. he like, he messing around. With Cause somebody. I don't want my hoes to see you. Or I don't want my main chick to see you. So we can just chill in the house. That's, yeah, no, we ain't doing that. That's not And another thing is personal space. If you can't respect that I need personal space, that's a problem. Yeah. Because <laughs> if I respect your personal space, you need to respect my personal that's space. That's another, like, psychopath. Like, psycho, get get away from him. Like, Because, like, my ex-boyfriend would do that with me all the time. Whenever I told him I wanted personal space, he'd show up at my house out of nowhere to come pick me up and take me out somewhere. And I'd be ready to fight him because I'm like... I told you I didn't want to go nowhere. And you still, yeah. And you still show up anyway. I mean, yeah, no, but see, I don't like her ex. Her ex was a psycho. But personally, if if my guy trying to cheer me up, it'd be cute after a while. I mean, it's cute. But it's cute at first. But, but if you're doing it all like, the time, it's not. It oh, really and isn't. then another way not get played. This is like top of the line top of the line I don't care what no nigga say like check his social media oh my like mm-hmm. I don't care oh I don't be on social media like that I, do, 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 do. I don't talk to nobody I don't text nobody check it's his like, phone like you want to trust people but at the same time you gotta you protect need to trust yourself one too. time like I don't say check his phone every day but check his phone one time it takes one time to so check no, his phone and sure. no like okay he really don't talk to nobody like my like the person I'm talking to, low key, whatever. I checked his phone one time. i that's another story for another time. But I I realized like <laughs> she laughing because she know the story. Oh but I don't, I don't want to put it out there. But I realized like he not doing nothing wrong. And when you check the phone, ladies, please make sure you looking at dates. Like look at the dates. <laughs> look at dates, times, and but, time. Because don't don't go off for him don't go off for him over something Based that happened something four months like, ago, yes. seven months ago. But a I'm year telling ago. you guys, like, you, the phone will tell it all. Like, the phone will tell it all. Period. Yeah, cause see, that's how I caught my ex, and that's how I figured out he was cheating. Cause um, he had messed around with this girl, but he had been talking to her since January, and we were still together at the time. So he had been talking to her for months. In advance, like he had been talking to her for yeah. months, 
And then he had a whole bunch of other females, including his exes, that he was still talking to. So it's just, you gotta watch out. Like, it's just a protection thing. It's not a, I don't trust you. It's not and a, I don't trust you. I no. don't say, check the phone after two months of, I mean, two weeks of y'all talking. Give it a month, because it takes time to cut off holes. Like, I, I, I got holes. Like, I had holes. I'm sorry. I had holes. And it takes <laughs> Yeah, I was, I'm sorry, my um, camera cut off. But I say give it a month and a half. Like, give it a month and a half before you decide, okay, I'm going to go through this phone. I'm going to see if the shit he's saying real. I'm going to see if he's being real with me. I'm going to see if... I'm sorry, guys. My phone keep cutting off because... I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to just... We're going to wrap up this video. But... I think we gave them what five tips, five four tips mm, of how not to. That. Yeah, like we just we just gave y'all the spill like of how not to get played. So if y'all still out here getting played, it's because y'all want to get played, or it's because you're not looking. Or because y'all didn't watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you guys really need to pay attention. <laughs> like take notes. If you didn't, go back and rewatch the video and then take notes because we just gave it to y'all. Like we just gave y'all the real. Thing. And and don't forget rule number one. Don't pay for shit. Like, really, seriously, do not. That's that's number one. Like, do not. Because that's what I shit. messed up at. I should not have paid for nothing. Because you, you can't get it back. Mm -mm. You sure can't. You can't. Like time and money is something you can never get back. And just be sure to like. Oh, I forgot. This is one big rule because I fell for <laughs> this rule. Hold on. <laughs> one more. Real. One more. This is a real big one. If you're just coming out of a relationship, do not jump back in with somebody after they're, like, coming and talking to you. Because that'll mess you up real big. Like, yeah. you'll, you're in the honeymoon phase because you're, like, you're sad, you're depressed, you need somebody yeah. to rescue you. And you jump into the first relationship with the first person who comes and just gives you attention. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Please don't. Yeah, that that's number one. I oh mean, no, nah, that's not number one. That's, like, number two. Number one is don't pay for shit don't pay for that <laughs> that's number one but that's like number two yes like, don't jump into a relationship after yeah. you just got your heart broken because you're just gonna end up hurting you need yourself. time to heal like honestly because like it's like a lot for me to like actually take anybody serious after me and Diane broke up like even though i was talking to people like i'm sorry really... i'm sorry if y'all watching this but shh. it wasn't really a connection like, like that was my baby so at the end of the day it's like it took a lot for me to like let him on. go so if if I was talking to you at the dime and you watching this, don't feel no type of way. Just hit me up and be like, how you feel about me? And I'll tell you, I'll be real. You get what I'm saying? But honestly, like I said, like it was, it's a lot to break up with somebody and then try to get back into another relationship. So yeah, it really that's is. that's real. It's a like lot of that is real. I don't even know what else to say. Like that is realistic. Like, bro, do not, don't do it to yourself. Mm mm. Cause you will just. It's gonna. It's not gonna something. work. Like all my relationships at the dying, except for the one that I'm in, like right now, it, it didn't work. Like, and that's just speaking from facts. Like me and Diane was together for three years. So when after we broke up, and I was talking to other people, I started talking to other people. Like probably I want to say it was like four months after me and him stopped. You know, after we broke up, I started talking to people like four months later, and I still wasn't healed. Like I still was not over him so it takes a lot to like heal i mean everybody is different so like you can heal in two months but some people take two years some people take eight months nine months everybody is different so that's that's really facts exactly and like with the relationship that i well the guy that i was talking to because i was talking to him, like um things just didn't go well and then we just really hit it off really bad and after you know everything that happened with us it's like I got into an accident the day after everything happened, so it's like everything was just going like yeah. spirally. And then the one person, like I was trying to heal, but nothing was going right. And this one dude said the perfect words, every word that every girl wants to hear: "I love you, I'm here for you, I want to help you." All that stupid bull don't, crap. I don't hear that shit. Like you're not hearing that shit. And another thing, just listen to the city girls. Listen to city girls, light skin Keisha, um, Tokyo Jets. Listen to Okay you guys. I'm sorry. My camera keep cutting off. Sorry. But I'ma just go ahead and end it. Yeah. If you're watching, I really appreciate you watching. Um Yes. For my channel, you guys, we're almost at 150 subscribers. Come on. I know we can do it. Like
period. I got so much coming for you guys this summer. Don't like stay tuned for my graduation vlog. Um, also subscribe to Starburst Plus Family. Subscribe to Ashton Austin Vlogs. The link is gonna be in my bio. And um, also subscribe to Jade, my Hi. guest here. My channel is called Untouchable Queen, so you can subscribe to that. Yes. And uh, you're pushing 100, aren't you? Almost. Get yeah, there. she's she's pushing 100, so you guys get her to 100. Get me to 150. And just like, share, subscribe, comment. Comment below. Like, y'all been lame. Like, man, I want to comment. Comment some advice y'all have for people. Because, man, like, everybody needs anything. to hear something. And just please share. Like, that's it. And, again, I greatly appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all have a lovely I day. Thank you. <laughs>